Here's what happened during week five of the Greenhouse Game. It was yearbook week in the Greenhouse, and the Greenhouse Challenge had everyone give each other superlatives. Brody was voted most likely to win the Greenhouse, Clay was voted life of the party, Maddie was voted biggest floater, and Caitlin and Patrick were sent to detention. At the flower picking ceremony, Laura claimed sunflower, Brody claimed rose, and Clay grabbed two seeds, even though Clay was in first place and could have gotten any power. Brody apologized to Laura for not using his bank vote as he promised during the last banishment ceremony. He pretty much tricked Laura into using her banked vote, but claimed that it was all an innocent mistake, even though everyone knows that Brody's a very calculated player. Brody also exclusively targeted Carlin during the superlatives challenge. This made her very nervous going into nominations because Brody got one of the nominating powers. Patrick assured Carlin that Brody was probably trying to hide their alliance with Clay. Victoria was upset that Clay did not claim power and instead grabbed two seats. By allowing Laura to have one of the nominating powers, she was certain that either Victoria or Caitlin would be nominated with one of them going home. Carlin brought her concerns to Johnny about Brody targeting her during the challenge. Johnny assured her that Carlin would probably be okay, and that he didn't plan to vote her out. Brody told Laura that he just so happened to promise both Caitlin and Victoria safety during the last banishment. As a result, he could only nominate Maddie or Carlin. Very strange that Brody keeps making all these accidental deals all over the place. Laura told Maddie that there was a potential risk that Maddie would be nominated this week. Maddie voiced that she was upset that the cast voted her as the biggest floater in the game, because she feels like she's been fighting for her life every single round from the block. Brody continued to try to solidify a Final Four alliance with Victoria, Clay, and Johnny. Victoria voiced that she was worried that either Caitlyn or Victoria would be banished this round. Brody promised Victoria's safety because even if Victoria was nominated, Johnny, Clay, and Caitlin would have the majority of the votes since five people were voting this week. Um, I feel like I'm in danger of being eliminated for sure um, because I think of my alliance with Lily. Um, I think that to me, what that has proven is that um, alliances aren't strong. So I don't really see the point in staying in one because it fell apart very fast. Um, it did take a long time, but in it just took that one round for everybody to turn on Lily. So there's not really, um, and yeah, there's not really, I don't know. I don't know what, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure what to do at this point. <laughs> um, because I'd like to stay in as long as possible, but I feel like I have a target on my back. And if Caitlyn gets out this round, I think I'm gonna get out the next round. Brody told Carlin that he made too many deals and had to put Carlin on the block, but he did promise her a seed if she wanted to buy Uproot. He never gives her the seed. Brody tells Johnny his true plan. He wants to put Carlin up and send Carlin home because Carlin is closer to Clay and Patrick than she is to Brody. Brody probably wants to keep Patrick around because he hopes to use Patrick as a shield moving into the later phases of the game. Brody also tells Clay about his plan to get rid of Carlin. Clay is less enthusiastic, however, because he's close to Carlin. Brody suggests that Clay votes out Carlin at the upcoming banishment. At the nomination ceremony, Caitlin and Carlin were nominated for banishment. At the start of the auction, Brody told Caitlin that she would be safe because Johnny, Clay, and Victoria should vote together and make a majority three out of five, sending Carlin home. Clay tells Patrick that he does not want to vote out Carlin and that he plans to vote out Caitlin, forming a majority with Patrick and Maddie. Patrick continues to stress a final four he wanted with Clay, Carlin, and Brody. Laura and Carlin decided not to go for the uproot to save Carlin because they expected to have the votes. Carlin expected that Clay would vote to keep her, making a majority of Clay, Patrick, and Maddie. That's three out of five. Brody admits to Laura and Patrick that he's not sure which way the vote's gonna go because, you know, he's a very nonchalant guy. Right now, I feel like such a hypocrite because I 
hated playing with Brody in BB-18 and I hated how that turned out. But at this point, I feel like I have no choice but to work with him because there's just not many people that I've made a connection with in this game. But at the same time, I'm salty as fuck about that banked vote because I'm starting to think that Brody did that on purpose. He was very apologetic about it, but I think that he wanted me to waste it. He wanted me to waste that banked vote. Like he's being, you know, like acting like we're in this alliance. But at the end of the day, I think he was like banish me with no issue. So I don't know. I'm just sketched out by that whole thing. And I'm really getting along with Patrick. So I don't know. At the end of the auction, nothing was purchased, and Carlin and Caitlin were the final nominees. Clay told Carlin that he planned to keep Carlin in the game. He gives her his word. Maddie realized that this would be her first time voting for the entire season. She wanted to be sure that she was voting in the majority. Specifically, she wanted to see Carlin stay. Word had gotten to Carlin that Carlin was being targeted likely because of her close relationship with Patrick. She reveals this to Patrick, who does not take the news well. They were still hoping to have Clay's vote in their favor, but Carlin gave Patrick and Laura one last piece of advice before the banishment ceremony. Sus. Well, moving forward, and if this is my last It's moment. not. Don't say that. If you go home, it's <laughs> your fault. I'm like... Talking about my dad right now, if I do pass away tonight, get Brody the fuck out. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. I just think I'm not a floater. I just want to get that off my chest. Okay. But also, I don't think I'm the biggest target in the game right now. So I'm not really understanding where this plot has come from. Like, why all of a sudden Brady is gunning for me and like made this deal with Caitlyn and now suddenly wants to get me out and is trying to actively turn everyone against me. I've been nothing but loyal to him. So it's just frustrating as if late. Johnny continued to tell the group at large that he just wanted to vote with the majority and not cause any waves. However, the vote was very clearly split and Johnny had to make a decision. Whenever Johnny and Clay sat together and discussed the vote, they agreed that eliminating Carlin would be the smarter decision moving forward. Ultimately, Patrick, Maddie, Johnny, and Clay met up to discuss the vote moments before the banishment ceremony began. Johnny and Clay were still non-committal, saying that they just wanted to go with the flow, instead of telling Patrick and Maddie exactly how they planned to vote. The four decided to just leave the vote up in the air and decide at the banishment ceremony. And after a tearful round of speeches, ultimately it was Carlin who was banished from the greenhouse game by a vote of three to two, a very slim margin. Eight remain. Who will be eliminated next? Find out next week on The Greenhouse, season two. <laughs>